today we are going to do a Color Pop haul. Uh, when I got home from work, I had a package from Color Pop and a Color uh, and a Color Pop and a package from Ulta. Um, but I think I'm going to save uh, the Ulta for sort of a collective haul of the 21 Days of Beauty steals. Um, but today we are going to do the Color Pop haul. So let's get started. You notice I have nothing on my lips. I thought we'd do a uh, some swatches, and also I'd pick one of my new lippies to put on. Um, so I love their packaging; it's so cute. And it comes super safely packaged. Oh my, it's beautiful. It's super rad. Like you can do it anywhere. So <laughs> all right. So they always send it with a little note to mine. Hey Madeline, ColourPop and Chill XOXO ColourPop. Super cute little card. And they do personalize, I think, every um, name, which is super nice touch. Okay, so I got a little card regarding their new Ultra Satin Lip. And it says our Ultra Satin Lip is a lightweight, bold lipstick with a satin finish and a crazy high percentage of pigments for extra intense color saturation. Ultra Satin Lip contains emollient ingredients for added moisture, a super comfortable feel, and a healthy satin look for your lips. This formula contains light diffusing ingredients that prevents cracking and keeps lips fresh. Though this lipstick is extremely long wearing, it is not completely kiss proof and may leave some kiss marks on your coffee cup or elsewhere. Duck, duck, duck. And then there's some tips and tricks for applying it as well. So then that, oh geez, and now a booklet. Oh. Oh, it's actually really cool. They have, um, it's basically one of these with tips and tricks and a little bit about the product, but for each of their different products. So there's Super Shock Shadows, and then uh, Super sh super Shock Cheek, <laughs> and I actually got a highlight and a blush uh, in my order. And then there's the cream gel color and liners, and then their uh, lippy sticks, and the pencils, and then the ultra matte lip as well with tips and tricks on how to apply uh, all of them which is a new touch. I've ordered twice before for ColourPop, um, and I've never received that before. And there's the complete menu order. Oh, that's right. I ordered the uh, Puppy Love. It was the last haul for the Puppy Love Super super Shock Shadow. Uh, and if you haven't seen my previous videos with my animals walking around, I have a dog and a cat, and I'm all about the animals. Both of mine are rescues. I highly um, advise adopting uh, rescues if you're going to get a new pet. Um, but yeah, so I got one of the, uh, I think I'm going to find that first, actually. Okay, there's no thing to tell me the name on the actual package. But I think this is Puppy Love is the name of the color. So let's start with that one. Yeah, Puppy Love. It says, woo, that was sunshine. Sorry about the light, guys. It's super sunny and also super windy. Um, but this is a really pretty almost matte but maybe satin finish of like a peachy pink champagne color mostly peach with that and i love the texture of these shadows if you haven't tried their shadows before it's an awesome texture all right so here's my little nice swatch for you guys it's just going to be a really nice subtle um lid color i don't know if you can see that but it's like a peachy Sort of a satin, sort of a almost metallic in swatch, but not really. Uh, shade. It's a nice neutral shade for the lids on a simple makeup day. You can even see it on my ooh. Oh my gosh, that sunshine. It's not helpful. Can I get over here? There we go. You can see the reflectiveness on there. Okay, so that is Puppy Love, one of their super soft, super shock shadows. I'm never going to be able to say that. <laughs> okay, and then I got one other super shock shadow uh, in. I don't remember the name of it. I wanted the weenie from the Kathleen Lights collection, but the collection as a whole was sold out uh, online, as well as the um, the individual colors. They also are all sold out. This is the color Lala, and it's just a really pretty, it was described as a, a rose gold. So what, I don't know, it probably smells not as soft, but, mm, but the pigmentation is much better. Oh my gosh, one swipe. Ooh, I'm gonna like it. That's like a coppery rose gold. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And again, that is the color La La. Beautiful shade. Ooh, I'm excited to use that. I might use that tomorrow. Okay, one. 
next, I got two, um, I got two cheek colors, and I got a highlight, but looking at it, it doesn't look like it's going to be a highlight for me. I got the color Wisp, and when it was swatched, it looks super light gold, but this is what it looks like in the color, and that is not, not a highlight if you can compare it to my skin tone. Uh, let's do a swatch on this one. Oh my. Oh, that is even softer and creamier and buttier, buttier, buttery, more buttery <laughs> than the shadows. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh yeah, no, that's not a highlight for me at all. That is going to be a, um, an eyeshadow. <laughs> that is not a highlight. That is too dark. I don't know who that would be a highlight for. That's got to be for darker skin tones for sure. So that is not a highlight for me. But those two together actually look really pretty. Those three together, <laughs> if we're being quite honest. So that is the um, shade Wisp. And again, it was a highlight, but that is not a highlight for me, unfortunately. But it's still a really pretty color. I definitely would still use it as uh, an actual shadow. Okay, we are pretty super cute cat. The next thing I got, which also looks too dark for me, that's the one thing about ordering online, they don't have a physical store, uh, so you can't try them um, in person, which is unfortunate. And I do like that they have the three different um, skin tones, they usually have like arm to three different skin tones with the color swatched on them, which is nice, um, but it just doesn't look like what I saw, and unfortunately I got that. Okay, so this... This is a blush, and it's in the shade Between the Sheets. Let me just pull it off. I really actually don't like the way it's lined, so I use a light hand. Um, but let's see what this one is. Oh, no, there we go. I'm going to use the highlight. Oh, but it's a beautiful shade of blush. Oh, it's matte. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So it's not nearly as pigmented um, as the shadows, but I like that in a blush, actually. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get this one and see. There we go. So it's a really pretty matte mauvey pink shade, and I actually really, really like that the bottom shade there. You can tell it's not shimmery or um, metallic like the shadows or the highlight, but that's really pretty. Okay. I like the blush. <laughs> so that was, again, between the sheets, and that's the um, the blush that I got. Now on to the lippies. Okay, so I'm going to, I'll start with this one. This is the free one. Um, it's actually one of the reasons I placed my order uh, was because I got an email that we used um, that ColourPop had hit 2 million uh, followers, or I guess those followers or subscribers. Um, or customers, I'm not really positive, 2 million, but they hit 2 million color pop esque is what it says, and they were sending out a free lippy um, of their new formula. And it's the color is Poppin, P O P P I N, Poppin. Um, and I think it's their um, Matte X formula, if that's what it's called. Let's see if I can get in here and read a little bit more. say it's the matte x formula so it's sort of like a a more comfortable matte not an ultra alternate like their um their ultra matte formula Ooh, okay so let's do let's see who else we were going to and this is again the shade pop in it was um free with purchase as long as you ordered more than ten dollars of product which i clearly did <laughs> okay so let's do a swatch here Oh boy. Ooh. Okay. So wow, that is I am liking that formula. It's not a matte matte, but it's a matte. Like it's supposed to be a more comfortable version, I believe. I'm afraid to put this on. If I take this into one, I'm gonna cry. Even when I love you, I'm gonna cry. <laughs>
people do see that. Um, but it's sort of not beading up, but getting a little bit textured at the top. And it's getting difficult to apply. Oh, this is horrible. I think if I had a mirror and a little bit more time to apply it, it might apply better. I've heard wonderful things about this uh, formula. Hmm. All right. Well, that's not even. That's going to drive me nuts. It's almost like you can't feel it's there. That's interesting. Like I know I put it on and I can see that I put it on, but I can't feel that I put it on. It's a little bit dry, but ooh, I like that. All right, I like it. It's It was a little difficult to put on in the viewfinder. I'm sure if I had a mirror, it would be uh, much better. But mm, even with the green, I'm digging the, uh, the raspberry color. All right, that's super comfortable to wear. Good job, Color Pop. I like this formula. There was one, I think, that they sent out as a Valentine's. Um, that they like that they sent along with Valentine's Day orders or along around that time frame. That was in red version with the same formula. So hopefully they'll be coming out with more colors in this line. But I really like it so far. All right, that is again pop in at that that uh, magenta shade right there. But yeah, no, that was not kiss. Not kiss proof, as they said on the card. Okay, so then I got four more. <laughs> so I got an ultra matte lip in uh, Lumiere 2, which was the Kathleen Light liquid lip of her uh, version of the Lumiere uh, Lippy and Lippy liner. And then, so what else did they send out to me? That's like my perfect go to shade. Not too pink, not too nude. It's like perfect. It's like a plummy, not plummy, it's like a muted, pinky nude with a hint of some sort of purple thrown in there. <laughs> if I can describe it. Actually, I wonder if I got, I forgot what I got. I might have gotten the actual lippy with it. I did. So let's compare the two colors. So again, that was Lumiere 2, which is the ultra matte lip version in Halo Dragon. And then I also got the Lippy Stick version, which is in matte, I believe. Okay. Not an ultra matte, but matte nonetheless. I like that they have them in the bottom and the, the color also. All right. That's going to be interesting to apply. That was much darker, or I'm sorry, much lighter than the Lumiere 2. Or should we, oh, I might actually like this better than the um, liquid, the ultra matte. It's a very pretty color, very wearable, um, everyday sort of shade that I could wear to work and, and totally be okay with. It's really pretty. And it, it doesn't go on nearly as matte as the uh, poppin one. I'm starting to think that it's on right. <laughs> um, but... Again, it's a different formula, but it's still classified as a matte, but not the matte X. I hope that's the name of the formula. I think it's matte X. But it's still very pretty. Okay. So then we have another ultra matte lip in the shade Stingray. This actually looks sort of similar to... This is almost identical. Oh my gosh. Maybe when I swatch it, it'll be different, but I don't know if you can see it, but that is basically identical. This is Lumiere 2, this is Stingray. This might be a bit darker. Mmm. More mauve -y. Okay, this is more mauve of a shade. So let's go ahead and get this Stingray. Looks so similar. Okay, so... Watching them, it looks as though 
Lumiere 2 is more mauve and Skin Ray is more brown, but both super similar shades. Can you see I have a uh, color that I like to stick with? <laughs> Poppin is not usually in there, but I really like this formula, and I think I could, without a green shirt, I could make it work better. <laughs> okay, and then the last one that I have is Frickin' Cracked. Now this, I'm really excited to try. This is their new Ultra Satin Lip uh, Formula. And a very similar shade again. I have to make the dark shade mine. <laughs> All right, so this is Stingray. This is Lumiere 2, and this is Frickin' Cracked. I guess I'm wrong. I should have zoomed in. It might be my favorite of the shade range, but I'm intrigued by the formula. Oh, it's a lot less liquidy. It's much more of a creamy, um, formula. So let's see what it smells like. Oh my gosh, they all look the same. So many. Okay, we need to lighten up and not change drastically. Okay, so this is um, Frickin' Crack, and again, it's the new Ultra Satin Lip Formula. But again, it looks very similar to the other two that we swapped. But actually, it's more of a red-brown, if I'm looking at it. compared to Lumiere 2 and, I always get the other one wrong, Stingray. <laughs> All right. I think of the of these three, I think that Frickin' Frack is going to be my favorite for more of a going out, but for an everyday, probably Lumiere 2. It's a little bit more muted, but I'm really excited to try um, the original Lumiere on my lips tomorrow when I go to work. All right, so that is my ColourPop haul. Again, let's just run down these really quickly. Okay, so Puppy Love is up at the top. It's a really fair um, peachy color. And then we have Wit, which was supposed to be, oh no, I'm sorry, that's not right. That is Lala, that's the eyeshadow Lala. And then we have the shade Wisp, which is that highlight that's not going to be a highlight on me. <laughs> and then we have the shade Between the Sheets, which is that uh, very really pretty blush color. And then we have Poppin', which is on my arm and on my lips. I'm about to fix this one, drive me nuts. And then we have the shade Lumiere 2 of the Ultra Matte Lip. And then the original Lumiere in the Matte Lipstick. And then Stingray. And then the new formula, the Ultra Satin Lip Formula, and that is the shade Frickin' Cracked. So overall, I'm really excited about my purchase. I'm excited to get in, uh, to playing with these a little bit more. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask down below. Uh, if you'd like to see a look at these products, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.